What's up guys, welcome to the Phone Arena YouTube channel. We are back with another unboxing. This time it's a big one, literally a big one because this is the Note 10 Plus. As you know, the Note series is an innovation flagship series. Not everyone's gonna buy it, but if you want the best of the best of the best, this is the best you are going to get, at least on the Android world. Now, what is the Note series all about? As you can see, it's all about the stylus, which means productivity. Productivity is something that the Note series has been focusing on from the first device itself. You need to take notes, you need to draw some things over your notes, uh, take, uh, let's say, a scratch painting, uh, create a caricature, whatever you want to do, you can do it on this phone. So it's a lot of uh, these Note series phones are focused at designers and creative people or the executives who want to keep everything tight in schedule everything on the go so that's what the note series is all about so it needs to be bleeding edge as well it needs to be fast people need to get things done that's the note series for you so what's on the box the new stylus which has a inbuilt battery a lithium titrate battery if i'm not wrong that's a new technology and uh, what it brings is something that we'll have to see it brings a lot of new gestures and all that i'm sure you have seen the promos if not do check them out now on the back of the box it has said that 6.8 inches will give you the full rectangle but if you're using rounded corners it's going to give you 6.7 inch and this is a dynamic amoled screen you know how samsung amoleds are this is a kick-ass amoled screen quad hd plus resolution super speed dual pixel 12 megapixel oas f 1.5 or f 2.4 the same thing that they launched with the note 9 and the s10 so ultra wide is 16 mp which is great and there is also another telephoto lens 12 megapixels again oas with f 2.1 plus there is also a depth vision camera which is a tof sensor so we are going to see everything at the back of this phone uh, there is also a dual pixel 10 megapixel selfie camera f2.2 ultrasonic fingerprint s pen with air actions like i said it's called air actions super fast charging this supports up to 45 watts of charging and it will charge it 100 percent at uh, i think 75 minutes if i'm not wrong or maybe 45 minutes it's crazy fast uh, they have given 25 watt fast charger with it and 12 GB of RAM and 256 GB of storage. That's the base variant of the Note 10 Plus. It's going to start at 79,999 rupees. So that's uh, that's what the Note 10 Plus is all about. Additionally, you have wireless power share and IP68 water and dust resistant. There is also fast wireless charging. So let's open up the box and take a look at the box contents, which I'm sure are plenty because you know it's a flagship device you got to satisfy the customer so first up let's take a look at what's in the box at the top there is a sim ejector tool and inside the box you have a tpu case a really nice tpu case and you have the usual stuff the quick guide the regional log guide and the warranty card that's what you get inside the quick start guide if you take a look at the sr value the head sr value is 0.208 which is possibly the lowest in the industry. Samsung has been maintaining this low SAR value for a long time and that's crazy good. So that's uh, pretty much what you get inside the box when it comes to that small box. Otherwise, as you can see, the Note 10 Plus is at the top. It really looks like a futuristic slab of device. Note 9, although it had some little bit of bezels, S10 was the first time when they went to uh, dot notch or what they call uh, infinity O screen. And this time, Note gets that infinity O screen and it's not by the side, it's bang right in the middle. It looks like a beautiful screen. As you can see, zero bezels, nothing you can see, like everything is flowing out of the display because of the edge screen. And this time they have reduced the edge screen as well. So it just looks amazing just looks amazing it's a squarish form factor because you know it's uh, kind of like a notepad uh, not like the curved devices like the iphones or the other phones even the s10 series is slightly more curvy by the edges but this is not designed like that it's designed like a notepad so obviously you get a stylus with the notepad and this stylus is not heavy at all even even with the battery inside it's not heavy at all and immediately after removing the stylus you can write on screen 
This is something we have seen with the earlier Note series as well. Okay, there's more in the box. What is there inside this black box? Of course, you have the charger. The charger is a 25 watt charger and the ratings are many because uh, it charges in many different modes 11 volt and 2.25 amperes so that's how you get the 25 watt super fast charging you also get akg earphones and extra stylus tips so stylus tips are replaceable as uh, with the earlier note series and these are the akg earphones with braided cables really high quality stuff from samsung these sound absolutely amazing so i'm sure it sounds great and of course you have the type c cable here so that's all you get inside the box quite a lot of items inside the box let's take a look at the phone so let's get into the hardware what do we have here in terms of uh, the design so it as i said both sides are glass front is glass back is glass it's nicely curved at the edges the curved edges of the screen is lesser so there is not much of a color shift and the back is where all the color shift happens because the design is this aura aurora or something like that aura color which is multicolor. as you can see it reflects all kinds of colors and has a typical mirror finish it looks really attractive not a big fan uh, of the this color because the other colors seem even more attractive to me but i'm sure a lot of you might find this fascinating and over at the back you have the three camera lenses we talked about them earlier 12 megapixel 12 megapixel 16 megapixel two 12 megapixels one for the main sensor one for the telephoto sensor and the third wide angle is a 16 megapixel sensor and right by the side you can see there is an autofocus module and uh, a flash module and the TO of sensor. So that's all you get on the back. Very neat, very neat. Just the Samsung logo, nothing else. I can see very little uh, text here, which almost is invisible. Over at the right side, there is nothing. And you might wonder where the other buttons are. Well, everything's on the left side. And the key thing here is the power button is a Bixby button. So you have to use the software to enable the power switch. So if you long press the power button, you will get Bixby. Not cool, Samsung. Really not cool. But you know, if you are using Bixby, that's great. And there's a volume rocker and that's about it. On the top, you have the SIM card tray. And there seems to be a couple of microphones at the top. And we think it's for the audio zoom feature, which this phone has. While recording video, if you're going into the telephoto mode, you will get audio zoom. Basically, you will get an enhanced a uh, volume increased version of the same audio when you're zooming in, which is great. We have already seen this on devices like the Oppo Reno and it's powered by uh, the Nokia Ozo on the Oppo Reno. You're not sure if Nokia powers this technology on this phone, but that feature is here. And over at the bottom, you have the Type-C port, the speaker grill and the primary microphone and the stylus port. Now, as you can see, this is the first time the Note 10 series will not have a 3.5 mm audio jack which is, well, what can you say? These days only Type-C is what all the premium phones have. So 3.5 mm jack is gone. What do you think about that? Let us know in the comment section below. Otherwise, at the front, you have this gorgeous, gorgeous screen with that in-screen 10 megapixel, dual pixel uh, front-facing camera. That's also going to be great. I'm just going to get into the UI and show you just how great the display looks. It's Quad HD+. Plus looks like paper and looks like the best display ever for multimedia experiences because this is big 6.8 inches and there are stereo speakers the bottom firing speaker you can see the other speaker you cannot see because it's inside the body they are trying something like lg with under the body uh, reverberating chamber for the sound so it sounds absolutely brilliant the sound quality is absolutely brilliant and uh, overall it seems like a brilliant flagship device so if you are into getting the best of the best if you are into getting the highest innovations and you want to try out all the new innovations before it trickles down to the mid range or to the low mid range this is one of the phones you can get and if you are into productivity if you are into design if you are into creativity there is no other option no other phone has this many features with a stylus they have continued the tradition so that's going to be the best thing about the note series and the note 10 plus there is also a note 10 
if you want a lower spec version it starts only at 70000 this is 80000 still lesser than the iphone uh, and that's that's why this is great the note 10 plus if you like this phone do let us know why you like it if you also like this video hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't uh, done so yet hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any of our videos and check back for more on the note 10 plus we'll see you later then thanks for watching bye bye